The president further assured that the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is now safe and has hailed all the development partners in their synergy of making the airport convenient to its customers, including the conversion of the parking lot into a terminal of international arrivals at the cost of 87 million that was not billed to the airport. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all our development partners who have assisted us. I'd like to thank also the contractor who was uh, on site, who has helped us um, uh, remodel the, the garage area into a temporary arrivals uh, terminal. President Uhuru has said that by the end of the year, there will be a groundbreaking ceremony for a new terminal that will serve greenfield projects, which will be operational in the next three years. We will also, by December, have begun uh, and ground, the groundbreaking for uh, a terminal of the Greenfields uh, um, project, which is a completely new uh, terminal, terminal building. Again, with a view of that being operational within the next three years. During his tour at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Kenyatta lauded the airport's authorities for strategizing a contingency plan during the time of the fire. One month down the road, we can definitely see that uh, um, we have put in place facilities, temporary as they may be, that now has uh, resulted in our airport being fully operational to, 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 to the levels uh, prior to the, uh, the fire. The president commended the good works in the airport, exuding confidence that Nairobi remains to be the hub of Africa. We are hopeful and indeed sure that we will be able to get Nairobi to be the hub of, 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 um, uh, of Africa and that, that I'm confident of going forward. Uhuru Kenyatta apologized to all the passengers who were inconvenienced during the time of the fire at the airport and has confirmed that operations at the airport are now back to normal. Diana Mbogwa, GBS News.